Hello folks, Lindsey Huddleston here with another Monday Motivation representing SPS Sports Psychology Solutions. Hope you had a great weekend. I had a great weekend. I had a little break from my normal activities. As many of you may know, I've been uh, working with Michigan State football this season, following them, uh, doing some sports psychology, sports media uh, consulting, uh, following the players, following the coaches, uh, going to the games, home and on the road, and actually I'm looking to be probably one of the only press credentialed media members to uh, attend every game. And it uh, looks like we're going to be on track for that uh, with these final road games coming up against Michigan as well as Rutgers. But uh, I'll tell you more about that. And also, uh, we just launched uh, Media Day for Michigan State Basketball. Uh, as many of you know, I've been close to the program over the years. I look forward to being in the same capacity uh, with the work I'm doing with uh, my broadcast partner, Jack Ebling. Uh, doing some sports psychology consulting and sports media broadcasting, following the players. Had a great in-depth interview with Coach Izzo recently, uh, one of many that I've been able to have, uh, Coach Dwayne Stevens, all the players uh, that you know about, Cassius Winston, Xavier Tillman, my guy Joshua Langford, uh, Gabe Brown, and uh, Thomas Kithier, to name a few. So if you look at uh, the SPS Edge YouTube channel, you can see those interviews. So I say all that to say is that we had a buy. Michigan State had a buy. So I had a little bit of time to sit down and kind of catch up on things across the board. And I was reminded of an interview that Jalen Hurts of Oklahoma did recently, but it played again. And I think there was a very interesting point made that I want to talk about today. And that is, are you starving or are you hungry? Starving versus hunger. In that, they show a clip that after a successful game, because Oklahoma is undefeated right now, and if you don't know the backstory on Jalen Hurts, he had played at the University of Alabama, won a national championship with them, but was pulled in the championship game for Tua Tugalova, if I'm saying his name correctly, to go in and win the championship. So eventually Jalen transferred, transferred after he got his degree, which was a power move, boss move I should say, and uh, now as a graduate student, he's with the University of Oklahoma, looking like he's going to be a Heisman candidate winner, like the three they've recently had with Kyler Murray and um, Baker Mayfield uh, as well, just going back, and he being potentially the third. So in that interview, you know, he talks about going back into the weight room after a game, and he has this big medicine ball, probably a 50-plus pound ball, maybe 75-pound ball, and he's just throwing it, boom, just a, 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 a massive workout. And they say, why? He said, because I'm starving. I see, let me not take light of people who have real hunger issues. Hunger is defined as a desire to eat, a discomfort and a weakness that comes from the desire to want to eat. Starving is defined as dying from hunger. Dying from hunger. So those are two different things. And again, not to make light of anyone who's had to go hungry. I'm very fortunate. My mother, Patricia England, uh, raised me and my brother, Sean, in Detroit. Well, we didn't have to go hungry. Between my grandmother and even my dad, we never we never were hungry, and, and I'm thankful for that. And with the work I do with a lot of young people, I've seen hunger. I see hunger, and that's nothing to joke about. But what I want to do is make a point: is that wherever you are in your life, I want to be at Western Michigan in a few days, my alma mater, represent Brown and Gold again. Talk about that in a second, and uh, talking to these you know soon-to-be college graduates about where they are. And I want to talk to them about the difference between starving and being hungry. Hungry, you know. I think it's really difficult to have a number of things that you are just so passionate about that you're willing to focus everything on. Not to say you don't have a number of ideas that you're working on, but what is the main principle that gets you up in the morning? For me, it's my daughter. Making sure she has the life she needs to have, taking care of her, but also making sure that I'm fulfilled. Because when I'm fulfilled, when I'm at my best, I could do more for others. Once I had a guy tell me, if I can't take care of myself, I can't do bleak for anybody else. So that's why I'm wearing this shirt today, representing Seven Mile. Evergreen and Henry Ford High School where I grew up at. And also shout out to Desmond Ferguson for Moneyball. Shout out to Coach Flowers over there at Henry Ford as well. But when I think back to Seven Mile and what I grew up on, it was a beautiful struggle. You know, we knew we weren't rich, but we didn't feel poor. And unfortunately, the realities of inner city life were upon us. At one point, Detroit was considered the murder capital of the world, and I grew up with the vestiges of that. You know, I always say that the alumni in my sandbox was drug dealers, murderers, and college graduates. So I don't say that to glorify the struggle, but I say it to say, when I think back to growing up on Seven Mile, I think back to how I had to be focused, and I think back when I heard a loud noise, whether it was a gunshot or a crash, I had to be aware and be ready to make a move. I think back to when someone walked into the room or walked into a store or walked into the club or walked into a building and had a different negativity about them, I had to be aware. That Those are all life-saving things. 
At that point, I was starving. Not starving for food, for starving for life. Starving to make sure that even though I wanted to kind of get out and network and make moves and be a young person growing up in the city of Detroit, I had to be aware. I can remember being on the basketball court, total gas station for those who grew up in my area on 8 Mile and Berg Road, and my guy, you know, letting the guy have it on an opposing team, and we didn't know. And my guy made a comment to him. He didn't like it. He went to the trunk. He brought out that long rifle, that Malcolm X rifle, and let off. Cock, 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 cock. And bullets don't have any names, so we all had to run. So I learned then, watch what you say to people. That's why I'm really big on respect and how I talk to people and how people talk to me, because I know that can be life or death. So here's my point. Are you starving or are you just hungry? Because if you're hungry, when you get fed, you're going to be okay. But if you're starving for something, if you're dying inside because you're not achieving that goal, then that is what's going to make you stay motivated. We have to realize what we're focused on. And I'm a firm believer that it comes to a point you got to get locked in on one thing, or one genre, or one action and start pushing towards that. I don't know what you're going through, but I know in my life right now, I'm starving to see my plans come to fruition. I mean, I'm putting everything on the line. I'm, 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 I'm selling, willing to sell the whole farm because I research what I want to do. I've been around what I want to do and I'm ready to jump in. I'm seeing the results. I'm at that point because I made a commitment a long time ago. A lot of times we want to be starving for something that we just got up overnight and decided we want to be in on. I'm not mad at you, but you got to understand it takes time. It takes work to grow something of meaning. It takes, you know, being able to do it without everyone saying that's a great idea. Being able to do it without everyone being on board with it. So are you starving or are you hungry? You use Michigan State basketball right now. These young men, they got off of Twitter. They want to focus on winning a national championship. I think what they're doing and when I talk to them is the idea that they're starving. They're starving for that championship. They're willing to make all these different changes in their life to get this championship. I can only imagine Xavier Tillman is starving for it. You know, he's married, beautiful wife, beautiful daughter, another beautiful child on the way. He's trying to make it to the NBA to provide. He's starving. Cassius Winston, consensus player of the year, preseason, looking to do great things, going to make somebody's NBA roster and do great things, lead his team there. You know, he's starving. Now, I just use these sports analogies as an example. But what about at your job? Is it that position you want and you want it? Not only because you want the title or you want the money that comes with it or the fame, but because you know by being in that position you can steer that business in a different direction? Or are you realizing that you may have to step away from that business because your vision and the business visions are in conflict? And sometimes when things are in conflict, they cannot stay together. So are you going to have to go out and do more? What's your real purpose? It's really easy to get caught up in the money. It's really easy to get caught up in the titles. It's really easy to get caught up in the fame. But the question is, what are you really starving for? And it can't be what I'm starving for. You have to be starving for what's important to you. And you may just be hungry. Hey, real talk. Right now, my daughter isn't starving. She may get a little hungry and say, Daddy, I want to eat. And we go fix her something, take her out to eat, etc. Because we're fortunate to have the resources to do that. So you may be hungry right now. But I guess the important thing is to know the difference between being hungry versus starving. And when you know the difference between being hungry and starving, you'll do everything in your power. Everything in your life, everything you do revolves around accomplishing that goal because you're starving. I do want you to starve for something because I know if you're starving for something and you put everything into it, something great will come for that. So with that, I want to keep you. I just want to share that. I think that was a good thing to look at, a term you'll hear me bringing up soon. Uh, you'll be seeing me on the road this week. Wow, this is going to be a crazy week in a good way. Uh, Looking to get with my guy Fisher Enterprises, Rashawn Fisher. He's going to be launching something really soon. I'm going to talk about Tuesday. I'll be at Champs in Eastwood and East Lansing doing the SPS Edge Watch Party. That's something we're going to be doing, particularly for Michigan State home away games because I plan on being at the uh, games when they're taking place at Breslin Center. So we're going to do that for a few weeks and maybe change location. So there's going to be opportunity for sponsors to come on board to be involved in that. We're going to be doing sports talk. My guy Keith Tate is going to show up, some other guests. If you want to come out and put on the professional sports broadcaster headset and do a short two-minute, maybe five-minute video of doing a play-by-play, -play, watching the games, or just talking about the importance of mental toughness and sports and life, which is the basis of my second book, to be out in 2020, you can come do that. It's going to be a great time so you hear more about that. Then Wednesday, I get to go to my alma mater, my other Brown and Go alma mater, Western Michigan University. I'll be there speaking to the sports uh, club about different things, about uh, people who have different ideas about careers in sports. I look forward to that. That's Wednesday. Thursday, I'll be on the drive with Jack, do our, 
one hour segment uh, we'll be traveling to some great location in the greater Lansing area that's Thursday Friday got to get to the city to see my guy Jay Ham get that fresh trim up I appreciate him and some other things but we'll be getting ready for probably the game of the week in basketball Saturday we'll be back at it uh, Penn State comes to town after a big win over Michigan they come to play Michigan State and then we'll get things rolling all over again. So it's going to be a great week, and I want to keep you all informed. Thank you for following me. Thank you for supporting me. Subscribe to the YouTube channel if you haven't already, and I hope you have a great week. And as I always lead off with those goals, make them big goals, but work on them bit by bit by bit. Just work on things one at a time. Stay present in the moment, and you'll get what you want to get. So with that, thank you. Have a great week. Are you starving or are you hungry? Have a great day.